Hello friends, we are in the 12th part of the topic connections where today we are going to talk about the design strength of ordinary black bolts. That is how can we calculate this design strength of ordinary black bolts. So at first here we are going to talk about the bearing type connections in which slip is permitted. In bearing type connection, slip is permitted. It is assumed that the load to be transferred is larger than the frictional resistance caused by the tightening of the bolts. Consequently, members slip a little over each other, placing the bolts in the shear and bearing. So, we should know that our primary task to design any bolt is to resist the shear. We are resisting shear. If we are connecting any two plates like this, then our primary task is to connect this bolt in order to resist shear. We are resisting the shear. This, the, this is the shear force which is being resisted. But if you are tightening this bolt very hard, then it is even resisting the bearing force in which friction plays a very important role. But here, in bearing type connection, it is assumed that the load to be transferred is larger than the frictional resistance caused by tightening of the bolt, which means that these plates are allowed to rotate because the loading is very high compared to the frictional force. But here the shear force can 100% be resisted. So this plate cannot be disconnected but these plates are only allowed to rotate around the bolt. So that is, so this is what it is explained over here. It is assumed that the load to be transferred is larger than the frictional resistance caused by the tightening of the bolt. Consequently members slip a little, yes. It is allowed to slip, it can around, it is allowed to turn a little over each other. Placing the bolts in shear and bearing, see. The plates are resisted to move in shear. So these are known as bearing type connections which allow any two plates to move around but does not get disconnected. Then we have the bolt has three types of strength. See talking about the types of strength, we have three different types of strength in a bolt that is shear strength, bearing strength or tensile strength if present. See it is not that each and every time tension is present in the bolted connection or bolt but these two things are always there shear and bearing. So next we'll see how can we calculate this three and what are the importance of this three. But in this lecture we'll just talk about strength in shear. What is the strength of bolt in shear and its calculation. The smaller of the three strength is called strength of bolt or bolt value. So when we are asked for the strength of a particular type of bolt or the bolt values, then we have to say the minimum of this three is the bolt value or strength of the bolt. The strength of the joint is taken smaller of the three strength. See now if talking about the strength of the entire joint, the smaller of the three strength is taken strength of bolt in shear, strength of bolt in bearing and strength of plate in tearing. So, so in order to know the strength of the entire joint, we have to take minimum of this three. Generally minimum of two or three bolts are provided even if one bolt is required. See we are providing two to three bolts where only one bolt is required because a single bolt may fail due to improper installation. So we are taking care about the failure, which may be due to improper installation or material weakness or any other things. But how can we decide the number of bolts? Say it is given by this formula, number of bolt required will be equal to load on the member divided by bolt value. So we need to analyze the load on the member and we already know that bolt value is the minimum of the this three value. That is uh, strength in shear, strength in bearing and strength in tension. So we need to calculate how can we find out the bolt value and uh, we have a big procedure for finding out number of bolts. In order to find out number of bolts required in a particular plate we need to have bolt value and in order to have the bolt value we need to find all these three things that is strength in shear, strength in bearing and strength in tension. So in my next lecture I will be talking about how can we calculate this first thing that is strength in shear. So friends this is all about today wait for the 13th part of the video and thank you for watching.